Welcome back to my channel. My name is Destiny. If you are new to my channel, please do not forget to subscribe. I give illustration on how to make senators and uh, fat, all kind of malwares. Okay, so in this video, we'll be cutting a suit shoulder, and these are the measurements I have brought for us to use for this uh, tutorial. The length, as you can see, is forty plus two inches extra sewing allowance so it makes it uh total is 42 inches the half length which is from your waist to the running is uh 21 inches of the person then the running itself is 17 so i divide 17 by two i'm having eight uh eight uh, three quarter so the round foot i'm i'm having here is a 13 i divide by two i'm having six and a half okay so now the waist is 33 i divide by four so i'm having uh eight one eight okay the lap here is a uh, 12 three quarter of an inch so that's the measurement we are using for this suit trouser cutting so i'll give us the full detail on how to cut it and I will also give us detail on how to sew it but not on this video it will be on my next video so if you are very new to my channel do not forget to subscribe to my channel put on your notification bell to get more of my updates or whenever I upload a new video so now I will first of all go for the length okay so before the length I will mark out a uh, one inches cut out line Cut out line one inches and I will mark one inches as well here. Then I will make a straight line. Switch trouser can be any trouser, okay? But the difference is just the sewing itself. The sewing makes it different. Okay, mm -hmm. okay guys, so this is my uh, cut out line. Now I will go for the length. Remember we have 42 two inches extra allowance for the length. So I'm putting down 42 inches. Okay. So I'll still indicate my two inches allowance. So in allowance. Alright. So that's my two inches. So in allowance. So I'll then make a contact line here also. Uh, with my ruler it has no measurement just a straight line okay just like this so i'll then go for my half length which is from the waist to your nail so i'll go for my half length and my half length is uh 21 inches with no extra allowance on it so here is it now you know male trousers has a, a shape trousers has shape we are not straight so i will go for my pocket size my pocket length which is seven inches pocket length then i will mark half inches from my half length half inches okay so i've done that now i will go for my full length and i will still bring out half inches right half inches so now i'll connect this line to my pocket okay so it will have a shape a slant shape and then i'll connect from here down to my full length so just watch this okay so I've done the line I didn't make the line get to this point which is the two inches extra sewing because I want to explain something here All right so now I will connect from my half length to my pocket 
go this way okay so as you can see i have a nice shape here and it's for men if you're a woman and you want to cut a trouser i advise you use one inches because women has more shape than the men do okay all right so i've done that now i will measure my round foot my round knee sorry my round knee is a uh, eight three quarter okay so i'll bring that eight three quarter of an inch so i'm adding half inches to it okay so now i will come down to this part which is my round foot and i will measure my round foot divide my round foot and uh, we have uh, six and a half inches there you go and i'll add half inches to it makes it automatically seven inches all right so for me to get a straight line for this marking i will have to come in here now and bring out my 21 inches half length to have a straight line and as well get my full length to have also a straight line which is 40 so i'll add two inches which is my extra seven other ones okay so you know if you want to fold a trouser and you don't have a nice shape here a straight line shape here it will be it will be very difficult for you to fold so that's the reason why I bring out uh, five inches here. So I will then make these five inches to be equal on a straight line so that when you're folding, you have allowance here. It will correspond very well while, while folding your uh, trousers. So I'll still bring out the seven inches, which is the six and a half, my round foot. And I still added the half inches so that's just it they should be equal so that while while you're folding your trouser you have a nice shape and uh, a straight line uh, folding so I'll connect the lines now as you can see I made it straight okay so now I will complete this line then I will then make a straight line here, my two inches extra sewing allowance, so that when you fold, it will still come straight and give you the nice folding you wanted. So I will still mark here, just want to tick out all the whole line, and here is my seven inches, I won't be marking on it, to avoid too many chop. All right, so since I have my runway, I won't shape now because I'm looking for the right shape. Now, let's go to the waist. The waist here is 33. So I'm having, I divide by four, like I said earlier, and I'm having uh, eight, eight quarter. So this is my eight, one quarter. All right, eight one quarter, and uh, I'm adding one inches to it. I add one inches to it, so I have a uh, nine nine five eight. So I'll get my nine five eight here, and I will add one inches to it. I don't want it just to it. Then my flap or the crotch line, I will use the same 958 for my crotch. That's how I use for my uh, crotch line. Remember, I added one inches. So this is my one inches. All right. So I'll then connect my crotch line. To my waist okay so as you can see I have a little slant here 
to slant here then i will then mark my zip point so i'll be using seven inches zip point seven inches zip point so after that i will then mark my laps and the laps is a uh, 12 to 8 okay Twelve seven eight. sorry so i'll be marking from this very slant line that has the shape not from the straight line okay so i'm marking uh 12 7 8 and i'm adding half inches to it so i've gotten the lap measurement so i'll then make a straight line Before that I will have to check if I'm on the right side and this is okay all right so I'll make a straight line like this okay so that's it so since the laps is way more deep I'll get my shape from here by one inches sorry one three quarter of an inch I'll then connect okay so I've done that now I will then connect my laps to my running. So I'm using this ruler to connect it. So I've done that. Now I will have to connect this line also. Okay, so the trouser, the front trouser is out and everything looks okay. So I'll then go and uh, I'll go ahead now to cut it out. So it's all out. I will then notch my pocket as well. Okay, so I'll then cut my crotch. What is this? My crotch line is out. So I'll go around now and trim the rest part. So that's it. I will indicate the back, the wrong side of the fabric. So I'll cut it out now. Length. And it's all out. Okay, so this is for the front. Now let's move over to the back side. Okay, the measurement here won't be much necessary for our cutting, so I'll put it away. Now, for you to know the actual size you should be getting from here for your back.
you measure your lap you can see plus your half inches extra allowance then you calculate four inches extra okay to make sure you have a, enough space that will be able to complete your back so now i'll place because i have more than enough I'll copy the back using the front. Okay. So I'll copy now. You can see use your chop to mark this line. So the lines are out. I'll chuck here to have the center. All right, so I'll move forward now. I'm trying to get the extra allowance for the trouser, for the back trouser. So down here, I will be using two inches. I always use two inches. Make sure it's two inches. Then for the laps or the crush line, I'm using three inches. So make sure it's three inches. Okay, so I have it all out. There is no point for me to shape anymore because I already have a nice shape. So I'll then make a line make sure these two points are in line okay so the next thing now i will measure my waist my waist with extra two inches i'm adjusting with extra two inches for the back waist the back waist size extra two inches so what i'll be doing now is making a straight line also like this connecting a straight line like this to indicate the two inches now i'll be going up with uh, 1.5 inches with 1.5 inches then connect the lines so I'll just go ahead now and mark this way. You can see I have a nice shape here. Alright, so then I will connect this line to my half one and a half inches. You can make it a straight line. There's a, it's a slump curve like this. As you can see it's now equal here. So this is a crouch line for the back. So white trimming, I will just trim front down. I'm not adding anything extra here. Everything comes here. So for the front pocket. I'll be using two inches to fold and as well seven inches this way. Alright. So that's it for the back. Let me mark these lines. I'll mark these lines down. I'll mark this as well. Okay. So this is the back view. Now for you to have your pocket or that, I will then make 
Okay, I'll be taking out the two inches from here, which is the extra, because I'm trying to get the center of this very uh, dart. I'll take out two inches from here, then I will divide the rest. Nine is nine inches here, so I'll divide nine inches, and I'm having four and a half inches, and this is it. This is my dart line. So I'll bring it down with 3.5 inches. All right. So I'll connect it to the top. All right. So that's it for the line. For the dart, you can make your sewing like this. And like this. Okay, this is what I have here. So here now should be your pocket, and your pocket should be five and a half. So divide five and a half. I'm having two three quarter of an inch. Five and a half. So I will just connect it together for you to see. This is your pocket, the back pocket. Took out the two inches from here. Then divide the, re the remaining measurement from here to here. And I'm having the center. Then go down with a uh, 3.5 inches. Pocket size, five and a half. So that's it for the back. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. The channel is all about making clothes. Okay, so I'll just trim this very stuff. I will uh, make a nice shape. White trimming. I will have to do some adjustment. White trimming with my eye gauge because the line is not that smooth for me to follow. Okay, so you should just try to make a nice line. So I'm just going to trim the back crotch. As you can see, I'm making a nice line for myself. So as you can see, I have a neat one, better one. So this very uh, facing, I will be using this one for my facing, for my front facing. Okay, my front uh, pocket facing. So I'm just going to cut it out. Can you see it should be enough for the front facing so i'll just indicate the wrong side like this so i'll then trim the remaining parts then after i trim it i'll then leave a notch here I'm trimming the rest of the bodies. As you can see I have a shape. My name is Destiny, Modichi Destiny. And this is ND Fashion Concepts. Please, if this video is okay for you, you can leave a thumbs up, comment, and share. Okay. That's it for the suit male trousers. Sorry, I have something to trim here. So this is how it looks like. And that's it for the male trouser. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your time. Subscribe. Turn your turn notification bell. For more of my videos, please leave a thumbs up. See you in my next video. And mind you, we'll be working on these trousers. How to sew the trousers because it's very different from a normal trouser that we use. Suit trouser is very different in making. So just be, just expect the video. Anytime I upload, you will watch. Subscribe.
turn the notification bell to notify you anytime I upload. So thank you and have a lovely day. Bye.